I have grown pretty fond of my iPhone 14 Pro over the last year, and I ended up pre-ordering the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And now I'm just like, why? Why the hell did I do that? <laughs> And the first thing is the size. Like I wanted a big phone. I've actually never owned, well that's not true. I had the iPhone 6S Plus. And since then I have preferred and gone naturally towards like smaller phones. iPhone 10, iPhone 11 Pro, 13 Pro, and then to 14 Pro. The 14 Pro I think is an amazing size. I actually love the size of it. So when the 15 series was announced and the 15 Pro Pro Max were finally unveiled, I was like, okay, maybe this is the year where I'll actually get a 15 Pro Max and that will be like the end game iPhone for me. I think that's gonna make a big difference when I'm at the gym and you know on a plane or just like watching stuff on my phone when I want it to just to be a little bit bigger than the 14 Pro. So the size will be cool and also the five times telephoto zoom which is the equivalent to 120 millimeters in a regular camera. Like I think that'll be really cool. I do zoom in a lot like kind of for dumb photos though. Like I'm not taking like art grade photos. I'm usually zooming in to like my dogs rolling around in the dirt in my backyard. Or if I see like a funny license plate or something, I zoom in and just like take a picture of that to post to Instagram or whatever. But it will be nice to have like a slightly better zoom or maybe a much better zoom. I don't know, time will tell. And the action button on the 15 Pro and the 15 Pro Max will take the place of the silent switch on these older iPhones. And you can customize it. You can make it your flashlight. I think I'm gonna make it my camera. I don't know. What are you gonna make the action button on your 15 Pro, 15 Pro Max? Let me know in the comments. I typically don't even put my iPhone out of do not disturb or the silent switch. Like I always have it on silent mode with do not disturb on like 24 seven. I don't like that many notifications happening in the first place. So it will be cool on the 15 Pro Max to have the action button where I can actually make it do something useful. The titanium in the 15 Pro Max is kind of a cool upgrade I think from the 14 Pro. I think it'll look really nice. It'll be more durable than this model which is already pretty freaking durable but there will be less fingerprints which I'm kind of excited about. Uh, Y'all listen, I'm not really like like super excited about a lot of this stuff. This is one of the pre-orders for an iPhone where I was just like, oh, I gotta do it. But then after I did it, I was just like, okay, I'm kind of excited, but like, okay, well, what do I do now? What's next? Like, I don't feel the electricity of like, oh my God, this is like a breakthrough year for iPhones in the way that I did when like I got the 14 Pro coming from even the 13 Pro, the 48 megapixel camera is freaking phenomenal. The 15 Pro, I'm sure the videos and the photos are gonna look really good on it. I'm sure they'll be very similar to the 14 Pro, probably a little bit better, maybe, you know, a more natural bokeh, the background blur. Hopefully that will be better and I'll definitely be testing that out. So be sure to subscribe. USB-C is something that I'm actually looking forward to, even though I rarely ever use a cable to charge my iPhone anyway. I think it'll be handy if I do have to like transfer files, if I take a bunch of video and I need to put it, you know, into my Mac, transfer a bunch of stuff really quickly. I, I think that could be useful. And it kind of feature proofs the 15 Pro Max more as Apple lets go of lightning more and more and moves everything to USB-C pretty much at this point. So USB-C, okay, yeah, I think it'll be awesome on the Pro Max, but I don't really think I would use it that much, honestly. Another thing I'm kind of excited about or more just like, yay <laughs> about in the 15 Pro Max is the better battery life because it's a much bigger phone than 14 Pro and it's gonna have a bigger battery. It'll be more efficient and yada, yada, yada. It'll be better battery life. I don't usually run out of battery though in my 14 Pro unless I like really push it to the limit every day. But with normal use, I can usually get through a day pretty easily without having to charge it. It's at 93% battery health, still, you know, a perfectly fine running phone. But the bigger battery in the 15 Pro Max will be pretty nice. And the action button is cool, but like we'll see how actually useful it is. Maybe it'll blow my mind. Maybe titanium will be like, oh my god, this is the end game iPhone. But I just have a hunch that it's just going to be another iPhone with the same looking iOS experience as on the 14 Pro and basically every iPhone ever. Like it's been very similar for a very long time, which is honestly not a huge complaint because Apple has nailed this software like iOS goes crazy. It has amazing features. There's so many new features in iOS 17 that I think are really useful and very fun to use. So when we all pop open our new iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Maxes, is it gonna feel that different? I don't know, like time will tell. I honestly don't think it's gonna be that different from my 14 Pro. This thing is fast as hell. Like I don't think this thing slows down for much. It's super fast and like, I don't think the 15 Pro Max is gonna be that much noticeably faster with the faster A17 
15 Pro processor. So my expectations are very low, but I kind of hope the 15 Pro Max just blows my expectations out of the water and becomes this kind of interesting, like new experience. Or it could just be another freaking iPhone. But let me know what you're thinking in the comments. Did you upgrade to the 15 Pro or the 15 Pro Max or the 15 and the 15 Plus? Or do you think iPhones have eclipsed, like iPhones have been kind of the same experience for a very long time? Are you actually excited about the 15 series? Let me know down below. And let me know that you watched all the way to the end of this video by leaving a pizza emoji in the comments down below. And now I'm gonna go back to my regular life in which I am slightly regretting actually upgrading to the 15 Pro and I shed a single tear for looking at my 14 Pro as if it's a useless piece of shit. <sighs> Regrets.